Finding new smoke and other utility lineups can be difficult, especially when you can't see your target area. Today, I want to introduce a script that outlines these areas and makes finding lineups a walk in the park. I'll continue a brief introduction to the script, take a few minutes to explain all of its features, and follow it up by showing you how to install it. On screen are some general timestamps, but check the description for more specific times. In this example, I'll be loading up a practice server on overpass and trying to find a construction smoke from CT spawn. After spawning in the server, the first step to run the script is to submit the following line in your console. The menu will then be displayed and you can resize the window appropriately. The first option in this script toggles shoot to draw, and when enabled, rebinds your left click giving you the ability to draw lines within the map and to define your target area. You can draw as many as you want, and the result is an area indicator that can be seen from any distance and through any object. Option 2 toggles the visibility of every drawing in the map. By default, they're enabled, but can be hidden with this option if needed. Option 3 removes all drawings, but since I haven't found my smoke yet, I'll skip that option. Options 4 and 5 can be used once you choose a position to find a lineup from. For example, I'll stand in this corner of APC and trying to find a lineup that fits within the boundaries I drew earlier with option 1. Submitting 4 saves both your player's position and angle, allowing you to throw a smoke and follow it directly. This smoke is too low, so I'll submit 5 to return to my position and adjust the lineup. Assuming that this new smoke will make it over the bridge, I'll enable grenade trajectory by submitting 6 to make the path easier to follow. Now since the smoke went too far, I'll repeat the process again until I find a lineup that works. Smoke. And within three tries, I found my lineup. If you don't actually want to throw the smokes, you can use option 7 in the menu to simulate them instead. This will toggle a simulation mode where left clicking simulates the trajectory of a regular left click throw. Right clicking will simulate the trajectory of using a jump throw bind. Scrolling up and down on your mouse wheel in this mode will allow you to modify how long the simulation lasts. The next feature, option 8, will automatically rethrow the last nade that you've thrown. This means that you can practice smokes executes and even pop flashes if you disable trajectories. This also brings us to option 9, which removes any existing smokes by speeding up your game for a short amount of time until it's entirely cleared. The last option in this menu is best used for finding lineups when it's hard to tell if your crosshair is within the boundary of your target area. For the same position as before, I'd have to aim much higher to find a non-jump throw lineup and can utilize option 10 to guarantee that I'm within the boundary. This toggles a long crosshair that spans the length of your screen and then returns your original crosshair when disabled. Once you're done with the script, remember to submit 11 to exit it. This clears all of the binds and aliases set during execution and returns your console to its original functionality. To install the script, visit the Mediafire link in the description and download the archive. Once you've opened it, navigate to your CSGO directory by opening Steam, right-clicking on Counter-Strike Global Offensive, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files, head into CSGO, Scripts, and into vScripts. Copy the two files into this directory. One file is the script I wrote, and the other is a library that mine depends on. And that's all for this one. Feel free to leave questions and concerns in the comments, and I'll try my best to keep you all updated. See you in the next one.